All right, so if you're stuck between many answer choices on the USMLE, just remember that every answer choice is related to a certain concept or illness script. So let's break these down. Answer choice A, ascending upper genital tract infection involving the hepatic capsule. This relates to Fitzhugh Curtis syndrome. Watch for a patient who has chronic PID. Remember that pelvic inflammatory disease is going to be caused by Neisseria gonorrhea as well as chlamydia. Answer choice B, developing blastocyst implanted in an extra uterine location. This is going to be very characteristic of an ectopic pregnancy. Remember from an anatomy standpoint, ectopic pregnancies, ampulla of the fallopian tube, and for step 2 CK, if the patient is stable, you can consider doing methotrexate. Answer choice C, granulomatous inflammation of discontinuous small intestine segments. This is going to be very characteristic of Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is going to be under the concept of inflammatory bowel disease. Watch for the extra intestinal manifestations such as pyoderma gangrenosum. Answer choice D, inflammation of sac-like protrusion of the colonic wall. This is going to be very characteristic of diverticulitis. Remember diverticulitis, elderly patient with constipation, left lower quadrant plane plus leukocytosis. Answer choice E, overgrowth of enteric bacteria within the bladder. This is going to be very characteristic of translocation of GI flora going to the bladder, causing acute cystitis. Remember that this can be seen on your pediatric shelf in a patient who recently became toilet trained and is not wiping correctly, or if a patient had some post-op complication with the fistula. And finally, telescoping a proximal portion of intestine into a more distal portion. This is very classic for intussusception. Whenever you see intussusception, colicky abdominal pain, you need to say two words, lead point. The two major lead points are going to be Peyer's patch hyperplasia as well as Meckel's diverticulum. So when you're stuck between two answer choices, just remember every answer choice is related to a working diagnosis or illness script. Follow me for more high yield USMLE content to help you think like the test maker.